Welcome back again, YouTube. This is Nick the Kid here with another video. So in this video today, um, it's going to be kind of an overview of kind of a little bit, hopefully better content from my original investing video that I had back a while back on my channel. So I hope that this is helpful. If this video is helpful, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below for more future investing videos. I know I haven't done much, but I plan to try to bring you guys some uh, tidbit of good information. So, but also as well, please check out my other content videos that I have on my channel as well. I do plan on bringing some fishing videos. I'm actually gonna be go fishing tomorrow morning. So I'm super excited about that. So if you're interested in fishing, please hit that subscribe button as well. Check out that video upcoming soon. So to get on with the investing. So I just kind of want to do this as a broad spectrum video. I hope this is helpful to everybody, um, but mainly geared towards the younger generation, younger population. So many people these days I feel are so far from investing that it's very, very scary very very scary to be honest um but my point to you guys is if you're eligible for a retirement account particularly particularly a 401k account with your job your employer if you don't know just ask your boss ask your employer hey do you guys even offer a retirement account if you do check the eligibility requirements for the accounts and ask someone, maybe even a coworker, and say, hey, you know, how do you set this up? Because sometimes it can be very frustrating, very confusing about how to set it up. What do you invest in? Do your own due diligence of research. Look at the charts. Look at the past performance history on the websites when you enroll. And but overall, basically, that's the hardest part is finding what you want to what's your niche of your style of investing. You know, if you're closer to the end of retirement, you want to obviously be more conservative with your investing strategy. If you're young and you have 20, 25, 30, maybe even 40 years worth of work left to do, you can invest a lot, lot more into high risk investments that are going to just really grow your wealth very, very fast. So it just depends on your risk tolerance. So anyway, find out if your employer has a retirement plan. If you do have that option, get in as soon as you can. And I advise to at minimum, at least con contribute at least up to the match. Because if not, if you go below the match, if that's all that you could afford for now, go ahead and do that. That's fine. At least you're starting. But if you go below the match and you're not meeting that max on the match, you're leaving money out on the table. That is not good, especially if you have a long time. Maybe you might be two, three years into your job already, and you might be unaware of what the max is, and you might have missed the last three years. And well, unfortunately, you can't get that back. So what you could do is maybe add a little bit extra, more of a boost on your contribution to kind of make up for what was in the back. But time with compound interest is going to help you out a lot. Look up compound interest. It's very interesting, very fun, very exciting. It does take a lot of time. That's the biggest key about compound interest. You could make massive, massive growth with your portfolio as long as you have lots of time on your hand. So again, if you're young, please, 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 please start investing now. So many people are scared of investing. They don't know what to invest in. Do your own due diligence. Find your risk tolerance. And there's plenty of good starting ideas that are out there. You just need to know what your employer has to offer. A lot of them nowadays are actually 
a lot of good training tutorials and such on those websites because they want you to find your window of your niche of how you want to invest everybody's investing style is very different everybody has different wants and needs of how they structure their portfolios for investing so i just wanted to give this video shout out to you guys and because so many people nowadays i feel don't have a clue of any investment strategies Maybe they might be dumping money in on what's called a life cycle fund, which basically is a set, well, it's called target funds. A target fund, if you see on that list of investment opportunities, if you see what's called a target fund, basically what that means is that computer has generated a timeline future number for when you retire based off of your birth date. And those target funds yeah they allocate and run themselves basically throughout the quarter maybe they um you know shift their gears maybe quarterly or once or twice a year they might switch up their investments and the target fund automatically makes those adjustments for you but if you want to be more risky i would in my opinion if you're going for the long haul I would probably stick to mid to large cap growth stocks investment, maybe like an ETF or like a, um, like a, a, like a Vanguard fund or something like that, you know, that mirrors the S and P 500, because if you're in it for the long haul, S and P 500 averages around 10% a year. Yes, there are a lots of ups and downs and volatility with the market, but that's a given regardless of if you're in a good market age or a bad market age i mean there's going to be super good volume on i mean look at look at what we've done in the last decade it has just been off the charts mind blowing just so many people have been exploding growth on their investments the last decade does that mean the next 20 years the next decade is going to be awesome nobody knows as long as you find your niche of where you feel comfortable with your investments for the long haul it will do wonders for you but if you're in there and you you make let's say you have your average joe regular investment strategy your own niche on your 401k if you're in there every month switching things around making moves left and right i'll be honest i used to do that a lot with my portfolio and i was horrible with my returns until i stuck to a strategy that i finally made a manipulation and stuck to it and i said you know what this is where i want to be this is where i feel comfortable i kept it there and i've kept it there for like the last three three and a half years and i've done very well so moving your money in and out a lot even if you're m contributing a really really healthy amount into your contributions on your portfolio if you're moving in and out in and out in and out once a month or once every three to six months or maybe annually you're moving your money around in the long haul your returns are just going to continue to actually go the opposite way than the market is unfortunately because you're trying to chase the market don't chase the market when people say you need to get out do this do that do this do that don't be scared of those headlines stick it out for the long run and invest that way because that's the only way compound interest is going to work for you if you're up and down in and out and all of that you're not going to get a good rate of return on your investments but like i said do your due diligence do your own research i'm not a financial advisor these are just some tips and tricks and ideas that i have for you anyway like i said hope you had a good time with this video hope it was helpful for you for those that are wanting to know for investments you know look up acorns look up robin hood m1 finance uh weeble 
Um, there's so many investment platforms out there for everybody and not all of them are good for everybody. Everybody might have a different idea. There's hundreds, thousands of different brokerages out there and stuff like that. And a lot of people are going zero commission and zero trades and zero dollar trades and all that stuff. So do your due diligence, do your research, but get out there, get started investing and have fun. Thank you guys for watching. Again, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're interested, I'll be fishing tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get a fishing video up tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, please hit the subscribe button for that. And happy investing. Thanks, guys.